Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I don't keep it a secret that I would really love to expand this room. And to make sure I won't get overwhelmed down the line, I want to make sure maintaining these tanks will stay as simple as possible. Thus far I've managed using this card. It holds all the food for all the different animals I keep. There are various different water conditioners on here, a few aquascaping tools, some medicine, some miscellaneous stuff. But overall it's a complete mess. And that's why today I want to overhaul this card. So the first thing I'll do is get everything out of there. Here's all the mess I kept in there. And just like that we have a blank canvas to work from. Now the next step will be figuring out which of these items belong on the card and which don't. So yeah, let's go, let's figure it out. While organizing, there were only a few things to consider. Do I really need this item on my card? And if so, in which category would it fit? I ended up with five categories. Food, tools, water conditioners, medicine, and miscellaneous. So I kind of sorted everything. And I think my best option now is to just start filling in the card. So let's go. While filling in the card, I kept the categories from before in my mind. The top layer should hold the most used items, so that's where the food and the smaller tools will go. The middle layer should hold the items I only use once a week. I place the water conditioners over here, and since the medicine is the most similar category, I'll place it next to it. The bottom layer will hold the miscellaneous stuff I don't really often use, but want to keep close in case I do need them. This includes stuff like this glue, which is used to repair leaking aquariums. But now you might be wondering, don't you need aquascaping tools, fish nets, or a towel? Well, I've got a little hook on my radiator which holds my fish nets and a towel. These items can stay wet for an extended period of time and storing them here allows them to dry faster. As for the aquascaping tools, I've got something planned. These tools create quite a lot of clutter in the cart and I really find it annoying how these tools keep getting stuck to each other. I can't tell you enough how many times I've tried to grab one of these tools and accidentally thrown all of them on the floor. Oh, man. And that's why I'm making a dedicated space for them. I simply cut a wooden board to size, marked out where all the tools will go and added a few nails to hold them in place. I also added two smaller boards to the back. You'll see why I added these later. Next I hammered down the nails and bent a few of them over. For the scissors I didn't really like the nails and thus replaced them with screws. I then added a wooden stain for a better color and added a layer of varnish to protect it from water. Next I marked out four points on the side of the card and drilled a few holes. Here you can see why I added the two smaller boards. We've got two vertical beams that create an uneven surface which isn't ideal for attaching boards. To work around this problem I added the smaller boards. Next I measured where the holes in the card would align with the board, drilled the board and installed it. Now we can place the tools on the card, place everything else back into the card and move it back to the animal room. Now there's one more thing I didn't talk about yet and that's right over here. These are magnetic window cleaners. You place one end inside your aquarium, one end outside your aquarium. You can hold onto the piece on the outside move along the glass, get all the algae off there. It's not rocket science. And since they're magnetic, I can also place them on the side of this card while not in use. I'm really happy with how this card turned out and I'm especially happy with this board on the side, which holds all the tools. And I'm sure this entire unit will serve me well for years to come. We might make a few more adjustments down the line, but only time will tell. In the meantime, I really want to thank you guys for watching. And if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, I highly encourage you guys to subscribe. It means a lot to me and helps out the channel. And if you're hungry for more content, I recommend you watch this video next to see how we set up a guppy breeding tank. Because we might be taking it down soon. Alright, just go watch it. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.